Good afternoon. Welcome to BTV. Happy Friday. On this episode, we will say goodbye to our retired teachers. We will hear from our principal, Mrs. Carter. We will also be introduced to the five most dangerous sports. All of this and more on this episode of BTV. I love hearing Miss Brooke talk about science and that anything can be explained by science and math. My favorite memory from Miss Brooke's class was when we did the chicken wing dissection and we finished it kind of early. So she was like moving the chicken wing to where it like moved the wing. I thought that was really funny. I loved having this book as a science teacher because she always was willing to give you an explanation for why something happened. So if you didn't understand some things, she'd always go into more detail about why it does happen. I really looked forward to having this book every day. I just really liked her class. She was super enthusiastic and her class was just so organized and it was just super fun because we did so many labs and dissections. On behalf of all of the students at John Barrett Middle School, thank you so much, Miss Book, for being such a nice, enthusiastic, fun, and caring teacher. Thank you for being so many students' favorite teachers, and thank you for being at this school for so long. You have helped so many kids with schoolwork and made sure that they understand everything. And most of all, you are so nice to make every kid have a good and fun learning experience. We hope you have a great retirement. Coach Wright will miss him down by the um, volleyball courts and stuff. Him always there at recess. When I first went to Barrett, I met him and I saw how nice he is and he showed me how great I'm Barrett is. Fifteen years ago, I was a brand new teacher at Will Rogers and I had no idea what I was doing. I was a sports coordinator and somehow I got Coach Wright's email and within 10 minutes he was at the track. He took off all the time, whatever he was doing, to come help me out and from that point on I just realized that Coach Wright was a really special person that would do anything to help anyone at any time. In this building right here, room 24 and 23. Coach Wright and I were partners. He is the most incredible man on this planet. My best memory is that friendship that we have. And I'll never forget it. I 
liked how Miss Blodgett let me move around in the seat so that I could work with my friends during math because it's very helpful. One of the favorite things that I liked in her class was she made math fun. She didn't like make it all super boring. I really enjoyed having her through the time I was here at Barrett. She explained to math very easy to understand. I'm Logan and I wish Miss Blodgett a happy retirement. I'm Ailey Martin and Miss Blodgett, I hope you have a wonderful retirement. It was great having you here at Barrett. Mr. Thompson was a history teacher at John Barrett Middle School for close to 15 years. He was quite the showman, sparing no embarrassment, creating an enriched, entertaining environment for his students, utilizing his unique wardrobe choices and lip singing skills. His history knowledge was vast, having a fun factoid for almost every activity, and he never stopped sharing his knowledge, even after retiring in 2018. Mr. Thompson passed away December 8, 2020. He was a good man, a great husband and father, and he'll be dearly missed. Hi, Barrett students. I just wanted to leave a quick message to let you know how proud I am of all of you. It's amazing how far we've come starting the year in distant learning and then returning to in-person learning, and you all adapted and did such a fabulous job. Congratulations to you eighth graders. It's amazing you have two days left. You have your eighth grade drive through ceremony on Tuesday and I can't wait to participate in that with you. And last thing for you eighth grade basketball players, I met with Coach Davis yesterday and he wants to put together a summer basketball team. So if you are interested, he will be here on campus on Monday after school in front of the office. Again, I am proud of all of you and have a wonderful weekend. Hi Barrett, today I'll be talking about the top 10 most dangerous sports in the world. Equestrian events are number 10. Individual sports are dangerous enough, but when you add in a horse in their brain, you have even more consequences for your actions. There are many equestrian disciplines that range from jumping over walls to roping calves, and they all involve another living creature in the sport. Motorbike racing is number nine. Motorbike races are extremely dangerous. Although competitors wear helmets going 120 miles per hour down hills and around tight corners is bound to result in deaths and injuries. Boxing is number eight. The sole goal of boxing is to punch the opponent with the goal of knocking them out. This sport causes brain damage in 90% of boxers during their career. Boxing is number seven. Mountain climbing can be quite dangerous. Every year people die from this sport. Weather changes can be deadly and cause frostbite, so staying warm can be quite important. Climbing up is only half the task because you must then make it back down to the ground safely. Base jumping is number six. The sport of base jumping involves jumping off cliffs, buildings, towers, and even bridges. Jumping off these tall structures and landforms can give the jumper only a small amount of time to deploy their parachute. All right. Come back for the last episode of BTV. Hello, John Barrett Middle School. Today we're going to be talking about 
what we did in science today. Today we made these snake worm things using baking soda, uh, powdered sugar, and hydrogen peroxide. First we put the baking soda into a small cup. We put it to at least 5.0 grams. We've had, had it at least that much baking soda. And then we added 20 grams of powdered sugar. And we had to mix them together to make this combination between the two. And then we got this tray. We put sand in said tray. The rubbing alcohol so it lit the thing on fire and it would cause this little snake thing to come out of the pan like that. It was all black and charcoal -y. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.